Okay, we are on step 5 now on initialize mobile app, but on this video I will appear also. Behind me is a tree of love, so uh, a good setup. So yeah, let's continue with step 5. Uh, first is to install the required packages, as you can see here, and we should be inside the mobile app folder. So I will open this in terminal. Open and terminal, as you can see, it should change the, the path here. And, and I should uh, run npm install, and this will install all my packages. I will not do this because I have previously done it. And after that, this will install all the packages that here are here in your dependency list, in the dependency. So uh, this will create a node modules folder for you, which has all these files. Okay, and then um, I should install the expo CLI, which is the expo IO command line interface. And on Mac I should do it with sudo, uh, because it installs globally in my system. And on uh, Windows machine I should ins install like this, but I should run the command promise on the administrator. I should al I have also done this since I have access to Expo uh, version. But know that this also should be installed pretty full with the uh, by our initial step in step one, step zero of the uh, set up your environment. After that we should run. Uh, the npm run produce, which is a script developed by us. It lies here in the produce folder, produce.js, and what this script does is takes uh, what you have made uh, on your Rectab Builder and sets up the app that way. And it asks, do we want to make an Android or an iPhone app? So in this case, I will go with an Android app. And it asks us our but our app ID, and our app ID is fine. It, you you can find it here. So in my dashboard, my conference app, I will go there, and I uh, I can find my app ID here. So then I should enter that as an answer and one, and this will start fetching all the data from our React app builder. Uh, it means fetching the the images, the, uh, the configurations and all those things, the logo, the splash image and it may take a while but should, shouldn't be longer than 30 seconds depending on your internet connection. After that, after all those things are done, um, we should start uh, with uh, testing our app locally. So what this will do after it's installed, just a second, we should run expo start. What this will do, do is start a local metro builder on some port on our device on our machine, and we will we will be able to run on Android device or so simulator, run on iOS simulator, or we can scan it with our Android device and preview the app real time connected with our machine. Okay, this should be done now, and as it says to run your app on simulator and device locally, do expo start. So I will do that, expo start, and this starts uh, a local uh, instance of my uh, app. So I'm able to, to preview on simulator locally. And this will start an, an app simulator on my device. Uh, if you want to run an Android device or emulator, you need to to connect with uh, the device with uh, USB. And what you should also, if you want to preview an emulator, you should have the emulator uh, run before. Here I see an error that um, 
my app.json is not correct, but that's it. Yeah, it's app.png because I did some previous tests. And um, it should be fine. Okay. And yes, uh, it opens our mobile app as created here. And it's at the moment it's empty. So with this video we have covered uh, our uh, step 5 video, step, step 5 of our documentation which was installing the required packages, then install the uh, run the npm ram reduce and do a local test of the mobile app just to see if it uh, starts then uh, another video will follow the rest of the things thanks for watching this video hope you like it and hope it will help you while you make your mobile app